the new season we are walking into 2024 is a season of prayers God is saying that this is a season where every Christian will have to pray always pray always Praying always means you are living a lifestyle of prayer. When you sit in the house, you are praying. When you drive on the road, you are, you are praying. When you fly in the air, you are praying. I see God raising prayer giants everywhere. Everywhere in Nigeria, everywhere in United States, everywhere in UK, in Europe, everywhere in the Middle East, a seagull raising giants who we stand as watchmen and pray. This is what God is saying. The season we're entering into is a season of prayer. It says for us to pray always without ceasing. That is why at the beginning of this season, you see great men of God are being attacked already. So this morning, I was just reminded by the Holy Spirit of what God showed to me three days ago that prayers are to be made without ceasing without ceasing means with all seriousness with all boldness prayers are to be made without ceasing everywhere holy men lifting up their hands in prayer why because this next season we're going to only triumph by prayers we're going to triumph not by youtubing not by facebooking not by social media but by prayers and i'll read the scripture to us and throw some lies on what I'm saying. In Luke, let's read from Luke, Luke chapter 21, when we read from verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all the things that shall come to pass and to stand before the soul of man. Wash, therefore, and pray. This is the season. We are to wash and pray. Did you read recently, three days ago, a few days ago, how T.D. Jets is being attacked? And this money, God reminded me, says, this is why one of the reasons why I said prayers in this season are to be made. Now, this is just the beginning. There are targets of great men of God. Stalwarts in the realm of the spirits. Giants. Preachers. Teachers of the world. Will be attacked. From the camp of the enemy. And some Christians will be rejoicing. And some will just be looking and watching. And so we just be creating content on YouTube. How could one ever think that Bishop T.D. Jakes will have dealings with P. Daddy? You go to social media, you see a lot of rubbish people are writing just because they want to trend. Bishop T.D. Jakes has affected people's lives. Hell is afraid of Bishop T.D. Jakes. Hell is afraid of men of that nature. Who, when they speak, they cause transformation 
changes occur. They are agents of change. So, the whole of hell is afraid. And as we walk into 2024, they start attacking by picking him, picking him up and framing him up. And many people are coming to witness, to, to say or to speak, to say a lot of things. Even false prophecies are coming concerning the issues surrounding him and P. Daddy. So I want to encourage us as Christians, as Christians, I want to encourage us as Christians to uphold prayer. This season is a season of prayerfulness. Pray always. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to play. Men ought always to pray and not to YouTube too much. Men ought always to pray and not to social media too much. Yeah, we know social media is a means by which yeah, the gospel is being spread. But don't let it replace the place of prayer in your life. I also read really the word to you that jumped at me this morning. Praise the Lord. Uh, I would like to read from Second Peter. Second Peter. Second Peter chapter 3. Let's read from verse 3 to 4. Knowing this first of all. That scoffers will come in the last days with scoffing following their own sinful desires. They will say, Where is the promise of his coming? For ever since the fathers fell asleep, all things are continuing as they were from the beginning of creation. Now the Spirit expressly says that in the later times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. Now the Spirit expressly says that in the later times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teaching of demons. Some will depart from the faith and they will devote themselves to teachings of false spirits and devils trying to lure many against the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. As Christians, we are to pray, stand in the place of prayer. And when you see people disparaging fathers in faith, the patriarchs of our time, you see people disparaging them, don't join them to disparage them. Don't spread the false words they are using. They are fighting Jesus. They are fighting our faith. So don't spread it. Pray that you fall not into temptation. Jesus says, watch and pray that you fall not into temptation. This is what God has said. He's raising prayer giants in 2024. And he expects us to rear up prayer altars. To pray in the silence, in the corners of our living houses. And he will hear from heaven. I believe somebody will join me in this course. And as you do that, may God strengthen you in the name of Jesus Christ. And may God, may God cause you to prosper in 2024 and beyond. In Jesus' precious name. Spread this word. Be on guard. Watch and pray that you fall not into temptation. God bless you. Would y'all please do me a favor and stop worrying about me and give God some praise and honor and glory. I can feel you. I can feel you. Would you just give God some glory and praise and go ahead and lift him up? I am fine. I'm good. I'm good. I'm the man for the job. I'm good. Come on. Come on. Give God some praise.
I can feel you. Relax. Give God some praise. We're not going to let the devil take over our service. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let the rain stop me. I'm not going to let the weather stop me. And I'm sure not going to let the lions stop me. I'm going to give God an extra praise. Y'all looking at me like you my physician trying to see if I'm good. I'm good. You can't do this 50 years and ain't been in a fight. Ain't been in a storm. Ain't been up under attack. I'm fine. He that is with me is more than all those that are against me. I'm fine. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for being concerned about me. I can feel you. I can feel you. I'm okay. Come on. Come on. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good because I know the truth. When you know the truth, you ain't got to be nervous. You ain't got to be uneasy. You ain't got to be in trouble. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Would you help me welcome our internet audience that's streaming online? Come on, give God a praise for all of them. Thank you for tuning in, logging in, looking in, praying in, watching in, discerning in, whatever brought you in. I was glad that you are here, and we greet you in the name of the Lord. One more time for our streaming audience. My God. If anything, I feel closer to the Lord than I ever have. Hallelujah. I feel his presence with me right now. The anointing of God is in this place. Amen. Keep it moving. The worst that could happen, if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. I don't care what it is, the blood would fix it. But I ain't got to repent about this. All I got to do is step over top of it and keep on going on. Glory to God, I'm not in trouble. I'm talking about the power of the blood, amen. Thank you, Jesus. I have used it and I will use it again, but I ain't got to use it for that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever I need it. It's available to me, and it's available to you, and you can have it when you need it, but you don't have to plead the blood when you didn't do the crime.